All right, you guys, so like, share, subscribe. Ring that notification bell so you guys get all the updates whenever we release video content on the channel. Shouts out to the Lions Den community. Salute to my brother, A Weapons. He rep midlife music. Make sure y'all following us on social media on our Instagram. Also, make sure that you guys check out our Facebook channel, uh, facebook.com backslash ticket TV. All these links are going to be in the description box below. You guys can also catch our podcast show. Make sure y'all subscribe to our podcast show. We'll have all the hidden content that you guys didn't see from our podcast show. Uh, so all of the links will be pinned below. Salute to everybody who donates to the stream. And we're going to get ready to get started with this stream today now. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Much love, honor, respect, and appreciation. Well, it seems like this thing could, the potential of this thing happening could be getting real. Uh, as I told you guys a few times, uh, that I've heard plenty of times that LeBron James could potentially be interested if he leaves L.A. and going to join the New York Knicks uh, with that squad that they have built up over there. And now you have an NBA general manager out here throwing AD's name into the mix, saying that the Knicks are an ideal trade spot for AD. Now, the word is that this stuff could all fall apart. You understand what I'm saying? Um, and it could get, it could fall apart real quick, uh, with the Lakers. Now the Lakers flame out, do not make the playoffs, flame out, get beat in the first round. Do believe, do believe there's going to be some things that go on. Do believe that, that now, according to the reports, I'm going to tell you guys this right now, according to the reports, um, you know, LeBron James is not happy with with the Lakers with the Darvin Ham situation. He hasn't been happy with that. He wanted the Lakers to get off of Darvin Ham and hire uh, his buddy, his workout buddy, um, Phil Handy. Genie Bus refused to do that. Then you infamously seen LeBron James hugged up with Genie Bus. Also, the report just came Lakers. Hold on. Also, the report just came out that the Lakers, um, you know, that the Los Angeles Lakers, uh, um, hold on one second, y'all. Hold on one second. So, yeah, the report came out that the Lakers um, are uh, – their first-round pick, they're more likely to use the three first-round picks that's going to come available to them at, uh, this summer to get a, a star player other than use one on drafting Bronny. Um, that report has just came out a few days ago. It went under the radar, uh, you know, and um, – Um, yeah, that went under the radar. Uh, and so here's the thing, man. Here's the thing. I'm of the belief that the New York Knicks potentially could use their pick because they got multiple picks in the first round. I've told you guys this, and the pieces may start to be put together. I'm of the belief that the Knicks could draft Bronny. Um, I'm of the belief uh, that Knicks, according to the report that I read, uh, have the assets that the Lakers will want in a potential deal for AD if AD is not happy with the situation with the Lakers, um, which could happen if the Lakers flame out. Listen, I'm going to tell you all like this, bro. If the Lakers get beat, if they if they end up having to play the uh, Denver Nuggets and they get smoked in the first round, bro, bro, it's going to be some furniture moving, bro. Let me tell y'all something, bro. I don't care what nobody say, bro. Bron and them dudes going to be heated. 
and you could potentially see something like Braun go over to the Knicks, in my opinion. You understand what I'm saying? AD get traded to the Knicks, and potentially the Knicks draft Bronny's son, and they over there playing with Jalen Brunson. This is this the type of stuff that you that you could potentially see. Because the Knicks have the draft assets to acquire. They have the assets to acquire AD in a trade. They have the draft assets to acquire AD. They also they also uh have the picks this year to go get Bronny in the draft. And I believe with Clutch doing the things they do and how they finagle the draft, you know, I believe um, I believe that the Lakers could potentially be forced to make a move after this season's over with, bro. I think if the Lakers get smoked, y'all, they're going to be looking at this thing like, man, we ain't going nowhere, bro. Like, it's, we could put whoever we want to put around these guys, bro. We don't put Russell Westbrook. We don't did all this. We don't went, put all the role players like we wanted to do. Didn't go get a star player, put all the role players we can do whatever we want to do, bro. I believe that the Lakers may come to a point where they feel like they got to start over, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I'm talking about, like, get all the assets and just cook. You know what I mean? I'm going to be honest with y'all, man. I, I truly believe that, bro. I truly believe that, man. I, I don't think that I, if the Lakers get smoked, and the, let's say the Lakers, the worst case happens. Let's say they either win and then they get smoked in the first round by Denver. Or let's say that they they uh they lose to the Pelicans and then lose in the play in and don't even make to the play. Bro, if they if they don't make to the playoffs, bro, bro, all hell gonna break loose. If they lose in the first round, all hell gonna break loose. They got it's some problems going on over there, bro. And I'm telling you guys right now, Rich Paul did not clean that slate with the New York Knicks for no reason, bro. Everything they do, they do for a reason. Point blank period. Point blank period. Point blank period. Everything they do is for a reason, man. You know? Um, and I'm just telling y'all what it is. Straight up. Everything they do over there is for a reason. Um... What you say? Oh, I want to tell y'all something today too, man. Salute to everybody in the building. Yes, uh, the rumors is true. Uh, the great one, uh, the ticket, uh, the final boss will be back <clears throat> tomorrow morning on the player's choice. Uh, so you guys have been hearing those little rumors going around. Yeah, that's true. I'm the big dog. I'm the man. I'm the myth. I'm the legend. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, these little jabronis was running around happy that I wasn't that I wasn't around, you know what I'm saying? When I'm the man, point blank period, I'm the man. You, you heard what I said? So I'm gonna go over there and make sure every one of them chumps acknowledge me tomorrow. And I mean that shit. I'm gonna make sure they acknowledge me tomorrow when I go over there. I will be over there tomorrow, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 8 a.m. Pacific Time. I will be on the player's choice on my show, the panel. You understand what I'm saying? And they will acknowledge me. And all the little chumps in the comment section have been crying like little, you little crybaby Cody ass uh, punks. I'll see y'all over there tomorrow. Daddy's home. Daddy's home. Daddy's home. They, the ruler's back. You better believe that. You better believe that. Straight up. 
every single day they talking about somebody saying my name over there in the comments. They all talking about they want the ticket, but y'all crying. The hell wrong with you? Don't you know I'm the best thing going out here? Straight up. Dudes, is a bunch of damn crybabies running around here on YouTube. Period. You understand what I'm saying? Y'all know what's up with me, though. I keep it a hundo at all times. Ricky, what up, dog? Salute to you. Ricky e E245 in the building. Salute, brother. My boy T Price in the building. Y'all already know what it is, man. Yeah, man. It was crying. Oh, man. The Big Bad Wolf ticket is coming back, man. Sit down, man. Sit down, brother. I'm the man, bro. You understand what I'm saying? Y'all know what's up. The, the great one out here in these YouTube streets talking basketball. Ain't no game. Ain't don't get no greater. But back to what I was saying. You understand what I'm saying? So, uh, Chill Town, uh, yeah, wear your depends tomorrow, brother. Make sure you got your depends on. You feel me? So, yeah. Uh, this stuff right here, man, with the New York Knicks, man. Bro, I can see the way they get AD and LeBron, bro. I, I can literally see them trying to go for that move, man. Getting off Julius Randle, getting off those picks, getting off another one of those contracts. And you got NBA G executives talking about this. Excuse me. You got NBA executives talking about this with AD. You think AD is going to go over to the Knicks and leave LeBron at the Lakers? If the Lakers move on from AD, man, stop playing, man. Stop playing, man. You, it could be a situation where you see Bronny, LeBron, AD, and Jalen Brunson with the Knicks. Do I like it? No. I'm just telling y'all that I'm not stupid. Rich Paul ain't going over there meeting up with them for no reason. He's not. He's not. He's not. He ain't going over there for no reason. Y'all believe that. Y'all believe that. I don't believe it. You understand what I'm saying? Rich Paul did not go over there, make amends with them for nothing. That's not how he moved. That ain't even in his that that's not even his MO. I'm gonna go over here, make up with with uh, you know, uh the Knicks uh front office and dudes I ain't talked to since LeBron came in the league. Remember, because he came in with CAA. See what I'm saying? So I'm telling y'all, y'all can see this stuff in the works, man. Y'all think it's a game. I don't see it as a game. I don't see it as a game. I'm just telling y'all what it is. I'm telling y'all what it is. Straight up, man. Y'all gonna see. Y'all gonna see, bro. Everybody's in here watching this stuff, man. Y'all gonna see. Hold on, somebody write me right now. I'm just telling y'all what's up. You can be in denial all you want. You can be in denial all you want. I can see it. I can see the, the Lakers moving AD and then LeBron James out and out. I'm telling y'all, bro, everything is gonna go crazy if the Lakers, if the Lakers lose in the first round, they lose early or or don't even make the playoffs. Bro, if they don't make the playoffs, I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, I think it's gonna everything's gonna if they trick up. Throw this first game against the Pelicans, acting like they think they can win a game against the, the Warriors or the Kings at home. Then AD mess around and get hurt. They lose the next play-in game and then don't even make the playoffs. Bro, I'm telling you guys, it's going to get ugly. It's going to get ugly. I'm telling y'all this. It's going to get ugly. Y'all can feel however y'all want to feel, man. Listen. What I'm telling y'all is 100% facts. And the Knicks can get Bronny too. Bron, Bron can literally have it all with the Knicks. The publicity, the exposure, 
a fresh start, a new captain super team, which we know LeBron does, still keep AD, go play with a small guard that's explosive like he always do, like to play with, and play with his son. And listen, y'all can say whatever, however y'all want to feel. I'm just telling y'all, man, who y'all know is the, the shrewdest operator and who is the dirtiest player in the game? LeBron James. LeBron James. I'm telling y'all this. Y'all think it's a game. Y'all think it's a game. Matter of fact, I'll read the article to y'all right here. I'll read the article right here, right? TotalProSports.com. Um, and let me talk about what they had to say in this article. Because I found it quite interesting, the things they had to say about, you know what I'm saying, um, you know, AD in this article. I found it quite interesting. Um, and I'm just being honest with y'all about this. Where, where did I see this thing at? I got to pull this thing back up. Hold on, y'all. Right here. So it says that the New York Knicks have emerged as a prominent contender to land Anthony Davis and trade destinations are being discussed as AD. Now, see, look. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on the screen so y'all don't think I'm capping. Because I know these dudes be thinking, oh, man, Ticket just be saying, no, I don't. I, I do my research before I come in here. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. Right? Matter of fact, let me put this in here right here. Take the little screenshot. And y'all smash the like button as y'all come on in here, man. I'm going to put this on the screen for y'all, man. Because, see, I know y'all be thinking I be just joking and saying stuff. And I, I don't. I, I be dead serious when I come in here telling y'all news and giving y'all the truth. Yeah, I'll be, I be 100% serious on business, right? 100% on business, right? Uh, and it's an NBA executive, right, saying this, right? So, uh, again, um, I take the word of an NBA executive than somebody sitting on YouTube uh, listening to this video any day of the week. You know what I mean? Um, but I'll tell you guys this. And, and, again, it doesn't mean that this is 100% going to happen, like, oh, this is the final word. No, this don't mean that. What this means is, is that this is a possibility, which is what I'm telling y'all. And with LeBron James, when you have a possibility like this, I don't rule anything out with that dude. That dude's the shrewdest operator I've ever seen. Point blank, period. LeBron James, you think he's going to take this stuff laying down, getting smoked like this at the end of his career? Y'all think he cool with that? Y'all think, y'all think, y'all really think he cool with that shit? Going out, getting smoked at the end of his career. I don't think so, dog. And I'm about to show it to y'all. It said the New York Knicks. Here's the article right here. NBA executive identifies the New York Knicks as an ideal trade spot for AD. It says the New York Knicks have emerged as a prominent contender to land Anthony Davis and trade destinations for, for Davis are being discussed as the NBA offseason approaches. Though AD remains a Los Angeles Lakers star player and unknown NBA general manager called for a change of direction, sparking speculation about his future. A recent post by NBA Central social media account on X, formerly known as Twitter, reported that an anonymous NBA GM stated that the New York Knicks would be the ideal destination for a potential AD trade. And goes on to say, uh, it says, when you look at it, if you're serious about trading Davis at some point, then you need to accomplish a few things. It says you have to get him somewhere he wants to be. He wants to be a Laker. So if you trade him, you have to do right by him and send him to a good team in a good market. If you don't want to burn any bridges with clutch sports, you need a team willing to take on his money because it's a lot. And you need a team who can load up, load you up with draft picks. There's really one team that fits all of those, and that's the Knicks. It would not be hard to make a deal work there. You can line up the salaries. You can package a ton of picks. You can throw in a young player. And um, you can take on – uh, a salary that the Lakers play uh, might not want. I mean, he is one player, and you can get a huge haul here. The general manager, unknown general manager, said, "Listen." So even with those thoughts being out there, right? With those thoughts being out there, right there, the Lakers flame out. I'm telling y'all, everybody, gonna come back to this channel. You're going to hear about this next thing, bro. You're going to hear about this because I've already told y'all about LeBron James. Now you hear about And remember, before AD went signed with the Lakers or got traded to the Lakers, 
The backup plan was the Knicks. Y'all can go look that up. But when AD asked, um, you said ticket, you made players' choice popping. You know I did. You know I did. I'm the man, bro. Point blank period. You know I did. And when I go back over there to players' choice tomorrow, I'm going to make it popping again tomorrow. So everybody, y'all, make sure y'all come over there and watch the show so it ain't a bunch of million haters trying to go against the big dog. You understand what I'm saying? Because I'm going to make all them clowns acknowledge me when I go over there tomorrow. They're going to they gonna acknowledge me. You understand what I'm saying? I'm the final boss. Point blank, period. Oh, we want Ticket off the show, man. We don't like Ticket, man. Oh, my gosh, man. Oh, man. Oh, oh, oh. I could have went. I could have been went back over there. I stayed off because I wanted to let these chumps be dominant, but they couldn't be dominant. They always cry. Oh, ticket, take the mic. Ticket, don't let us have our time. Ticket, don't let us. I'm, I'm the. You, if you want, I gave you all this time to be dominant, and none of y'all could take the show and be dominant. You couldn't up the level. You wasn't on the level, so now I gotta come back over there and clean up all y'all's mess. I said it, and I'm gonna say it to you. I'm gonna say it to him tomorrow. And I mean that. Y'all think I'm joking. I ain't playing. I'm going to say it tomorrow. I don't gave them dudes two and a half, three months to clean it up. And they still ain't got it right. A uh, uh, snooze fest. <clears throat> we just, we just want to talk basketball. I'm the only one over there played 16 years in the game pro basketball. They talking about, eh, we want real basketball to shut up. Shut up. The final boss. You wait till I go back over there tomorrow. It's going to be some slow singing and flower bringing when I go back over there tomorrow. Oh, you already know it's a new day, baby. I don't gave them dudes a head start to get their mind right. They still couldn't get it right. Three hours of absolute boring. Straight up. Gabe let them dudes take the torch and run with it, and they couldn't even get it. They are they here coming in fifth place. Sixth place. Yeah. You let them know what I said. You put that in their ear holes. Straight like that. Cry, baby. So like I said, back to what I was saying, right? Back to what I was saying. You know what I mean? Um... I can really see this happening. I'm just telling you guys what's going on, man. I can really see this happening, man. You know what I mean? Um, you know, uh, I told y'all, this. these dudes flame out, bro. Bro, listen, if the Lakers flame out, bro, 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 they's going to be so mad, bro. Listen, if Braun opt out, if he tell AD I'm thinking about leaving, AD going to ask for a trade. AD is not going to want – AD is a follower, bro. He not going to want to stay over there without LeBron James. He's a follower, bro. He is a follower, bro. He ain't no leader, bro. He's a follower. So if LeBron's like, nah, man, I think I'm going to dip, dog. I'm going to go over here to the Knicks as a free agent. She AD will push a trade over there. And guess what? Clutch Sports control the game. Like the general manager said, Clutch control the game. They got all the players. When you control the chessboard, you got all the players. What would you think? Point blank, period. Point blank, period. They control the chessboard. You understand? So again, me personally, and then you know, you know, you see the way Jalen Brunson playing, man. Y'all know Brown to jump on that quick. Quick. Go over there, tear that franchise up. Y'all know. Yeah, you know, I had to bring my talents to my favorite. My absolute favorite playground. <laughs> That's what he said. My absolute favorite playground. I got to take my talents to my absolute favorite playground. Right? You're going to see. Lakers go out here and throw that game against the goddamn on Pelicans. Now, they just smoked the Pelicans. If they go out here and throw that game against the Pelicans, don't play the same. Don't come out with the same energy. Y'all know what time it is, bro. And it could backfire on them because the Sacramento Kings, if they beat the Warriors, they're not going to be playing. 
if Steph Curry and them, they're not going to be playing. They're playing for everything that's left. And I'm talking about in the history of their little dynasty that they had. I'm telling y'all this. I'm telling y'all this. I can see this thing going down, man. Real talk, man. You got Bronny in play. They The Knicks got the assets to pull off the AD trade. They really do. With all them picks they got, they can go get they can go get Bronny and draft AD. I mean, and trade for AD. Straight up, Bron can opt out and go over as a free agent. All this stuff can happen. It's I'm not saying it will happen. It's a potential. It can happen. And I think that LeBron James got his eyes on the New York Knicks. And I told y'all that for the longest. I told y'all that before he even went over to New York, started doing that foolishness he did, putting a towel around him, saying this is my absolute favorite playground, all this other stuff. You watch. Y'all think that LeBron don't care about – let them dudes get smoked out again this year. Let them get smoked out. Watch what happens. Watch what happens. Keeping the trail with y'all. Straight up. Keeping the trail. Right? Y'all do what y'all want to do. Feel how y'all want to feel on that. I'm telling the real. I'm telling the real, bro. And people saying, yeah, I know it's pathetic, man. Listen, everything LeBron James do is pathetic in my eyes. So do any of it, would any of that surprise you guys? If this, let me ask y'all this question. Like, if they, if this team end up happening, would that end up surprising y'all, everything y'all seen in the NBA? Would that surprise y'all? Think about that, y'all. Would that surprise y'all? I don't even think it would surprise anybody. To be honest with y'all, it wouldn't surprise nobody. It wouldn't. The way this NBA is going, bro, ain't surprising nobody, bro. And y'all see it. Y'all know I ain't lying either. And I'm just telling y'all what the deal is. So, again, you know what I mean? You said James Dolan once promised to make LeBron a billionaire in 2009. I've seen a lot of stuff, bro. Kenyatta, what's going on, homie? Omega, what's up? Salute. I see y'all brothers in the building, man. Salute. Salute to all my sisters, too, in the building. You know what I'm saying? Texas T in the building. You understand? Yeah, man. Look, man, I'm just telling y'all what the, what the real is, bro. They talking about, you know what I'm saying? They throwing this idea out here now with AD, with the Knicks. Why they doing that? Why they doing that? Remember I told y'all this stuff? Why they all of a sudden just throwing this stuff out here? Bro, the Lakers, man, did these dudes flame out? You think the Lakers going to want to go through this losing stuff again, paying all this money to lose, making all these trades, being under all this pressure, got to fire a new coach? Remember, remember now. The Lakers, they would have to fire Darvin Ham, pay him the rest of his money on his contract, pay a new coach a full deal. Then they would have to make a trade, go get another max player, and pay LeBron James $60-something million. Dollars. You think the Lakers want to do all that? Let me repeat myself again. This is what the, this is what the Lakers have to do. They fell him out. You'd have to fire Darvin Ham, which means you got to pay him the rest of his contract. Hi, this and the, you think the Lakers want to do this? Hire a new coach, pay him a full contract, then pay LeBron James another three years max deal, then go trade for another superstar that's on a super on a super max deal or max deal. Come on, bro. <laughs> I, I'm of the belief the Lakers would rather tap out. 
I'm of the belief the Lakers would rather tap out than do that. Think about that. I, I, would, be, I would bet money that the Lakers would be more willing to just talk, start over, get the pick, start over, and then go in free agency in a year or two and try and get another player. I'm telling y'all this. Yeah, how many more ways can you try to whip it around LeBron James, pause for them to win? How many more? How many more ways? Right? Shout out to my brother Dexter in the Cash App coming through tonight. $40 donation. Salute to you, man. He said LeBron gonna ruin the Knicks ticket. That's what everybody would say. I'm just telling y'all, bro. And guess what? Let me tell y'all something else. Guess who will benefit the most from LeBron being in New York? The NBA League office. The NBA League office is in New York. <laughs> they have a vested interest, in my opinion, in seeing the Knicks be successful. And the Knicks have, have never had star power like that. That's something else LeBron James would try to do. Say, hey, man, I brought something that was never here. Superstar power. And regardless of what you think, Madison Square Garden would be the hottest ticket in the NBA. It's just the facts. I'll be honest with you, bro. I don't like LeBron James. I'm not going to lie. He go to he go to the Garden, he the hottest ticket in the NBA. Same thing about me. I go back over to Players' Choice tomorrow, the numbers automatically go back up. It's not in the snooze fest no more. Where everybody going to sleep 10, 20 minutes into the show because they listening to Mars. Talk about nothing. Bore you to death. With his fake J.J. Reddick talk. Or Chill Town try to act like he sound like he important. Hey, hey sit up there acting like sound like he know what he talking about. This fool act like he cutting a promo for ESPN. Yeah, you know, because he really, uh, if you really technically look at it, uh, he said, man, man, shut up, man. The final boss is back, man. Then y'all bringing a whole bunch of wannabe me's up there, man. Dudes can't be me, man. They don't got the name. They don't got the resume. They don't got the clout. They don't got the they don't got the swag. None of this. Believe that. Those are facts. Then Lil Ox, Bob, he ain't better than me at nothing. Nothing. I'm just better than him at everything. These are facts. Shout out to my boy JB in the cash app today. $50 donation. Once again, JB coming through showing big time love, man. He said, you back on PC ticket? I'll be back tomorrow. I gave them dudes all the way to the playoffs to get their game up. I gave them to the playoffs to step their game up, bro. People up there arguing and all upset. There, Oh, man, why is ticket coming back, man? Man, ticket could have been back, fool. Ticket stayed away on purpose. Cause them dudes crying like little babies, sitting over there talking about some. Oh man, Ticket takes the mic. He doesn't let us be dominant. He cuts us off. But the one show I did listen to, everybody cutting each other off, doing all the stuff, trying to be a wannabe me's over there. But can't live up to the billing. So daddy got to come back home and set the record straight. Simple as that. And I'm telling y'all this. They couldn't handle the final boss over there. Which is me. They couldn't handle the man, which is me. They couldn't handle the myth, which is me. They couldn't handle the legend, which is me. <laughs> Straight up. I seen Chill Town trying to hold it over there. He trying to make it interesting and hold it. He can't do it without me, dog. <laughs> can't do it, bro. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, the people told me, man, hit me up and say, hey, ticket, man. Bro, this shit over here on PC is a goddamn on snooze fest, bro. You got to come back, man. They've been telling me this for the last two and a half months, man. Like, please, dog. I can't even. Come on, man. I don't even watch it no more. I'm like, bro, man, look, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm just letting y'all know what it is. So all these goddamn going Cody crybabies over there whining about me coming back. <laughs> Guess what? Your worst nightmare. Step back in the building, sucker. Daddy's home. 
This is my house. <laughs> what you think? I built the house and gonna let somebody else. You think I'm gonna let somebody Steve curb me? <laughs> you lost your goddamn on mine. I I'm built different. The hell wrong with you? <laughs> you think I'm gonna let somebody Steve curb me? I don't build the whole foundation of the house and let somebody else come put the decorations and all this other stuff on. Act like they did something. Stop playing with me, bro. I'm <laughs> cut from a different cloth. Period. You understand what I'm saying? Period. You understand? Now, y'all watch tomorrow morning. Y'all all make sure y'all watch tomorrow morning. You watch. Watch. Yeah. <laughs> Daddy's home. <laughs> Daddy's home. Right? <laughs> yeah, that's a fact. The kid's been acting up since I've been gone. Running around here, running amok, acting a fool. So I'm just going to come back in there with a broom and clean it up. That's all I'm going to do. They going to acknowledge me, point blank period. You know what I'm saying? Little Ox Bob, he lost the bet. He ain't even got in contact with me. But like, yeah, dog, I'm going to run you that money. He ain't even get in contact with me. I lost my bet to Jalen. I already spoke with Jalen. Me and Jalen already on, you know what I'm saying? Little Ox, little Ox Bob, he know he ain't better than me at nothing. He's still over there missing wide open layups. Thing and didn't nobody catch him. Like something like I'm going to change. I ain't, I'm never going to change. Shit. That's the unique thing about me. Period. You understand what I'm saying? I come over there and instantly turn the temperature up. <laughs> <laughs> for real, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm a man, I'm a man for real in real life. In real life, I'm the man. This ain't no act. This ain't no faking. None of that. So again, y'all, let me know what y'all think. Like, share, subscribe, man. Y'all let me know what y'all feel in that comments, man. Subscribe to the podcast show. We on the way to 4,000 subscribers, man. We on the way to 4,000 subscribers. Link to the podcast is pinned at the top of the comment section, man. We're going to 4,000 subscribers. Remember they told me I couldn't even get 1,000 subscribers on the podcast show? Remember they told me that? Well, we headed to 4,000 subscribers on the podcast. So make sure y'all subscribe to the podcast show. Again, link pinned at the top of the comments. Holler. I mean, I holler back. <laughs>